Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. If I show this image to 10 people who are familiar with the AI arts ecosystem and then I ask them to select a tool where I could have created this image, 9 out of 10 would most likely vote for Mid Journey because we know that Mid Journey is quite good at creating cinematic images. But what if I tell you that this is purely created using a fine-tuned model of stable diffusion? Yes, this is not Mid Journey and a lot of people have been in shock because this is a fine-tuned stable diffusion model that's called analog diffusion model. I'm going to show you how you can use analog diffusion model to create very cinematic images like this. I'm going to show you first couple of demo images or sample images that I've created. Then I'm going to show you analog diffusion model and then we're going to use analog diffusion model to create images like this. First see these examples, this one and then this one, this is Emma Watson of course. And then this one, the kind of details it has got, the kind of depth of field it has created, the background lights, the blur of the background light and see this image. So these are actually images created from analog diffusion model and I'm going to show you how analog diffusion looks like. So analog diffusion is from Wavy Mulder. Thanks for Wavy Mulder to creating this amazing model that is available on Hugging Face Model Hub. As you can see, these example images have been created using analog diffusion model. Now what is analog diffusion model? So analog diffusion model is a dream booth model trained on a diverse set of analog photographs and that can be invoked using this activation token called analog style and the way you can use analog diffusion model is either on like directly downloading this model from hugging face model Lab, or you can also download the ckpt link add it to your automatic ui or add it to any other that ui that you are using so these are the different ways you can use analog diffusion model there is one important thing for you to note with respect to analog diffusion model that is you may use you may need to use the word blur haze naked in your negative forms because the author is saying my data set did not include any nsfw material but the model seems to be pretty horny note that by using blur haze in your negative prompt can give sharper image but also a less, less pronounced analog film effect that's something for us to keep in mind and then you have got a lot of images also you have got the details of the prompts and the kind of settings that are used to create these example images that is something that i always appreciate when people give importance to reproducibility where we can see an image and then try to create similar image but we are not going to create similar images or the same image we are going to create something related to what i showed you before and that is what we are going to try to create today so how are we going to use it i have already created a simple google collab notebook for you to try it out you can open this google collab notebook which will be linked in the youtube description all you have to do is click the google collab notebook go to file create a copy in your drive after you do that go to runtime and select run all and when you do that what is it going to do a very quick overview first it is going to duplicate the repository from hugging face model hub and then it is going to get into your google collab then you are going to enter inside that folder and from there you are going to install all the required libraries and then finally you are going to install the gradio library and at last after every installation is finished you're going to make a small change in the code which enables you to create a gradio link and then finally you run the gradio application and then you have got the link the link should be ideally at the bottom let me check yeah you've got the gradio link click the gradio link that is going to create open a new link like this where you can add your prompt you can add your negative prompt and then that is how you can create cinematic realistic images analog very analog images very similar to analog images just like i showed so for the images that i created i'm going to copy the prompt and then paste it and i'm going to explain you what is it and i'm going to copy the negative prompt and i'm going to paste it so my negative prompts include prompts like deformed 3d render asymmetry green eyes blue haze shirt i have also added a prompt because there is some issues with the shirt and my prompt goes like this analog style which is the activation token cyberpunk close-up photo of a handsome young smiling girl with symmetric eyes symmetric eyebrows close-up in front of a supermarket with neon lights tokens like 
prompts like symmetrical eyes symmetrical eyebrows do not have a large effect but sometimes i found them helpful in making sure the eye sizes are same not one eye is big one eye is small so i just still kept it but you can also always play with this i'm going to go with steps 30 or 40 and i'm going to stay with the guidance skill 7.5 to have a very cinematic effect i'm going to have my width around 7 800 and i'm going to keep my height 512 by 512 for reproducibility i'm going to set my seed to 42 and then click generate this is going to generate our first image which is going to be in the cinematic style or analog style and i've always seen mid journey images having very similar effects so i was so fascinated to see that this amazing model that is fine tuned on stable diffusion 1.5 can create similar advanced or a cine with a cinematic effect that is quite possible or which is typically what people do with stable uh, mid journey also to note this is not stable diffusion 2.0 this is stable diffusion 1.5 which means if you are trying to use it with automated ui or any other ui with the ckpt you need to make sure that you are using stable diffusion 1.5 this is the sample image that i showed you now we can start playing around with the image in itself so instead of a handsome young smiling girl i can put a boy here and i can run the same image with the same settings now now you might start getting different images what i also found with this is i also had really good fortune or luck in creating couple images which also something that we will try here so now it's the same it says analog style cyberpunk close-up photo of a handsome young smiling boy with symmetrical eyes you can see the boy and you have the similar settings now you can play with things like for example if you do not want supermarket you can remove supermarket you can just say with neon lights background and that can now have a slightly different effect and that is exactly how you can play with these things like for example if you do not give green eyes as a negative prompt it will create a lot of green eyes um, that was quite artificial for me so i added a negative prompt saying green eyes now we do not have a prompt saying that they have to be in front of supermarket and this is the image that i got doesn't look very realistic to me at least but if you find it looks good you can do it i'm going to go back and keep it in front of a supermarket and i'm going to remove the cyberpunk word and i'm going to generate this now and i'm going to see how it looks another important thing that i've noticed is even though we cannot get character consistency across different totally different scenarios i could create character cons consistency here with the exact setting just with minute changes like for example i could change the color of the jacket that they are using i could change few things but it was not so perfect for example here in this image you can see this image this image looks really good i can go ahead and then say smiling white girl girl with dark glasses i can remove the symmetrical eyes completely and then we can see how that image looks like i also found this with the sunglasses i should have said dark sunglasses with glasses i found this model doing really good the output was again very cinematic uh, in that sense again i'm keeping the negative prompts the same negative prompts deformed 3d render asymmetry and um, okay this this is how it looks with the glasses um, we can say dark sunglasses and we can add a comma here and then i can say beautiful white girl and um, let's run it asymmetry i want to remove asymmetry let's run it and then see how it changes again if you change the number of steps and guidance scale you would slightly start getting different different sort of image you can play with that as well and um, with this image we'll stop everything that we are creating with a single image and i'm going to show you how i found success with couples in this case analog style close up so you can see there is a w w smiling white girl and the image I don't, I don't find this image as cinematic as before so you can add negative prompts like asymmetry uh, if you want but i'm going to show you a couples so i'm going to say 
close up photo of a handsome young boy young smiling white girl with dark sunglasses with a boy with dark sunglasses and click generate and then see if you can find them together and like when i tried before this video i actually found success but let's see this time what happens with the with the couple image you can also try to change the scenario which i'll show you just quickly instead of um, instead of creating only with the same same environment we can also change okay with with couple actually it works super fine like you can see um we have got a good couple you can also try to create things like um if you if you don't want them to be wearing a red color jacket you can use colors like red here in the negative prompt and then see what it does if you don't want them to wear jacket then you can add a different style in the prompt and then add jacket to your negative prompt and then see how it changes like in my case when i tried jacket as the negative prompt it actually made made them look like they are wearing sleeveless um in different different aspects you can see okay so now they are they are wearing a different dress also you can see the faces have quite changed but again this is another very good really happy image um if you want like a slightly different effect then you can change it but you have you can see the supermarket is there if you don't want it to be very sunny you can add sunny as one of the negative image and that is again sorry negative prompt and that is again going to change the way the image looks not without changing the characters a lot so one thing that i figured out or i felt is if you keep the same seed and the same steps same guidance and if you don't change your prompt a lot um, except you know few attributes you can you can find very similar characters and that is quite good and you can see the kind of dresses that they are wearing and um, overall this was like a really good effect to get um, if you want cinematic very analogish images and uh, you can you can play with the settings that i gave you and you can also try out different things um, this is this is basically what i wanted to share with you all credit goes to the creator vevi mulder for creating this amazing model and also releasing it for free like while a lot of companies are trying to make money out of model which which i don't say that they shouldn't do but there are people like this who release the model without expecting any um compensation back um so i'm really thankful for these people who are promoting creativity through these models and i'm also so happy uh, that this model is really really good and a lot of lot of not a lot of people are talking about this thing so give a shout out to this developer give a shout out to this creator and uh, and let me know like what you created if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description you can get started right away Um, thank you so much for watching see you in the next video happy prompting